Welcome to the McGregor Fence Guide to Installing Cement Footings. To put in a cement footing, you will need the following items. A post, a post hole digger, a tape measure, a carpenter's level, a bucket of softball sized rocks, a spade or shovel, a wheelbarrow, and a bag of high strength concrete mix. Do not use the quick setting concrete mix unless that is the only kind available. You will also need a nearby source of water for use with the concrete. First, use a post hole digger to begin digging a hole for your footing. When deciding which post deserves cement footings, there are a few general principles to follow. Any posts which are to be attached to earth anchors need a cement footing. These are commonly your corner posts, end posts, and gate approach posts. Your hole should have a diameter of one foot. It should have a depth of two feet, or however deep it takes to get below the frost line. Frost heaves are known to dislodge footings, so make sure you know where the frost line is and get beneath it. If your hole is deeper than two feet, then place some softball sized rocks into the bottom. Place them until the distance between the top of the rocks to the mouth of the hole is two feet. If you have standard conditions and your hole is only two feet deep, then skip this step. Now cut open your bag of cement and dump it into your wheelbarrow. Slowly add water while stirring with a spade. Be careful not to add too much water at one time for it can make your mixture too thin. Continue mixing like this until your mixture has the consistency of a runny slop. If you have a hole deeper than two feet and rocks already in your hole, then take a shovel or two of your cement and put it into a bucket. Add some additional water giving it quite a thin texture. Now pour it over your rocks. Some of it will seep into the ground, creating a better grip for sandy soil and heavy frost conditions. If you have a standard two foot hole, you may skip this step and do not need to create this thinner batch of cement. Next, place the post in the center of the hole and ensure it is straight by using the carpenter's level. We highly recommend having some assistance at this point to keep the post straight up. Take your rocks and place them around the post until it can comfortably stand on its own. Pour your cement over the rocks and try to get as much of it as possible to flow into the cracks. Depicted here is a round post receiving a cement footing. Angle iron posts can likewise have footings, however wooden posts may not. If you place wood into cement, it can trap moisture and facilitate rotting. Fill the remainder of your hole with rocks. If you have an extensive fence and a lot of cement footings to make, we suggest preparing multiple holes and mixing large batches of cement to save time. Pour in cement until the top layer is about level with the ground. Give the cement time to dry before continuing installation. This takes 12 to 24 hours if the temperature is above 60 degrees and 24 to 48 hours if it is below. 
Do not pour footings if it is below freezing. When your cement dries, you will have a complete cement footing. You are now ready to drive in the remainder of your posts.